I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933, and welcome to this computer certification video where today we're going to answer a question that I am asked literally hundreds of times in a week via email, in my webinars, or in person. Where do I start my studies? Where do I begin with computer certification? We're also going to talk about where, how to decide the best way to continue your studies because as you know in IT we're always learning, we're always studying, and of course we're always working on recertification which I'll also mention. But the key here when it comes to getting started with your certification studies is not uh, succumbing to what we call paralysis by analysis. And what I mean by that is you're looking at all of these computer certifications available today and you just say, you know, I don't really know which one to get. Let me look at all of them. And then you never get started. You've got to get started. And a best, the best way really to decide where to go next is to take a really good look at where you are. And I know that sounds like something out of a fortune cookie. I'm not going to give you any lucky numbers, but I'm going to give you some solid advice on how to build that foundation if you're one of those people just getting started. Because it's your level of experience in IT or lack of same that can serve as a guide to the certifications that are really the best fit for you right now. And if you don't have any IT experience, I want to remind you that every single one of us in this field started somewhere. We all at one point had no experience, and that goes for every CCIE in the world as well. So don't let anybody kind of bully you on the point, oh, you know, I have experience, don't get started, blah, blah, blah. Don't listen to that. Get started. That's the most important point. Now, where are you going to get started? Well, if you're somewhat or even totally new to working with computers and networking in general, I would strongly recommend you consider earning your A plus and perhaps your Network Plus certifications from CompTIA. Now, these are vendor independent exams, so you're not going to be hit with 50 questions on Microsoft or Cisco or Linux, anything like that. They're, what these certifications do is give you a vendor independent foundation in how the hardware works and when it comes to the Network Plus certification, you know, how does the network work? You know, what's going on here when point A wants to talk to point B? It's not required, I think, in your career to get that Network Plus certification, but it is a good idea, especially if you're just getting started with networking. You can learn a lot more about those certifications and others offered by CompTIA at their website, www.comptia.org. And if you put .com, it's going to forward you to the main website at .org. So a good site to know about there. Now, if you've been in IT for a while, you have a greater level of experience, but you just haven't started on your certifications yet, you may want to go straight to Cisco and Microsoft certifications. Now Cisco has a relatively new entry level certification. I'm not that crazy about that term, which is why I have it in quotes, but it's their entry, their basic certification, the CSENT, which also paves the way for you to earn your CCNA. You can go straight to the CCNA. Uh, you can look at those paths at cisco.com and visit my website, thebryantadvantage.com, for more information on both so you can decide if you want to take the one exam or two exam path to the CCNA. And when you get that CCNA, that also enables you to pursue other important certifications. The CCNA Security, Voice, and Wireless exams, they're separate certifications from the CCNA, and you must have that one first, the basic CCNA, if you will. And it also allows you to pursue your CCNP and other certifications. This is in no way an exhaustive list of Cisco certifications. I would recommend you visit the training and events section at cisco.com and I would bookmark it because keep in mind when you earn Cisco certifications you've got to recertify. It's not just yours for life and you don't have to keep studying and keep up with the latest technologies. You wouldn't want to do that anyway, uh, not keep up with the latest technologies. But you want to bookmark that site because the rules do change occasionally about how often you need to recertify, exams change, that kind of thing, and it is our responsibility as certified individuals to keep up with those changes. It is not Cisco's responsibility to make sure you and I know. They publicize it, but we need to go out to that website and check it out. Microsoft certifications, they are extremely valuable as well. And again, they have a myriad of options, highly specialized options that can fit your career path. And in my humble opinion, you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice if you don't get your Microsoft certifications eventually. You don't have to get all of them because when you go out to their training and events section, you're going to see there are plenty of them. But in today's networks, even if you don't like Microsoft and you're not alone there, 
uh, you're doing yourself a bit of a disservice in my humble opinion if you don't get Microsoft certified or at least know Microsoft networking. Again, you can go out to Microsoft.com and visit their training and events section. And like I said, they have very specialized certifications out there now for you to check out. Once you have that foundation for your career, once you've decided where to get started and maybe you've picked up your basic or your entry level, if you will, Cisco and Microsoft and CompTIA certifications, ask yourself some simple questions because you've got to continually plan your career. It's not something you just do one time and say, okay, I got this certification, uh, so that's it. Maybe you're happy in that current job, maybe you're not, but what you really need to do is plan your career the same way you would plan a network. You wouldn't just go into a network room and take a bunch of equipment and just slap it together and put some cables in there and hope it worked. Well, just as you would plan putting a network together, you need to plan your career. And you need to continually ask yourself, first off, what kind of job would I most enjoy having? Where do I want to be? And where do I want to be, say, one year from now, three years from now, five years from now? and just put it in writing. Say so here's, the, here's the role I would like, here's what I'd like to be doing and then of course write out the steps that you've got to take to get there. To me, in my experience and the experience of thousands of my students, it is vital to put that in writing and keep checking things off. You know, as you get that certification, check it off. As you learn this, check it off. But keep a written log and keep writing your goals down. Where do you want to be a year, three years, five years from now? And you'll be amazed in one, three, and five years when you look back at what you wrote, you'll get there. But you've got to keep grinding, of course, and you have to keep looking at those goals and saying, where do I need to go now? Where do I need to go now? I hope this helped you plan out your beginning if you're just getting started in IT certification. I'm glad you're here. It's been a very rewarding career for me. Again, I was right where you may be now with little or no experience. I kept grinding, I kept making that path out for myself, kept defining where I needed to go next, and I've gotten there, and I still do that to this day. So it'll work for you as well as it did for me, and again, thousands of my students around the world as well. Some other free resources I want you to know about besides the video you're watching to help you earn those certifications, out of my tutorials page on my website, thebryantadvantage.com, we've got over 300 videos, practice exams, and fully illustrated tutorials now. Concentrating on Cisco, but we've got Microsoft Server 2008 material out there and some CompTIA tutorials as well. You may be watching this on my YouTube Cisco certification channel. If not, I ask you to visit me out there at youtube.com slash user slash CCI12933. And visit the blog there as well. Daily practice exam questions for Cisco. We're adding more material all the time for other certifications. Uh, free webinar announcements and a lot more. So a lot of great material out there to help you earn these certifications. I'm Chris Bryant, CCIE number 12933. Thanks for taking a few minutes of your time to watch this video, and I wish you all the best in your certification studies.